Okay, guys, so let's talk about our next subject. We're gonna go from light to dark. So there's a lot of light in this swan. The swan in general is white, but we don't have that true white color in nature. So we have to create that white color and by combining like the colors that surround the white. So all the colors around will reflect on the feathers and so on. Except of course the beak. The beak has a color and the eyes and so on, but most of those feathers are white-ish. So a lot of it, the blues and purples you see, those are actually coming from the water and of course from the sun as well. We break it down into layers, but before that we need to create a sketch. So once you have a pencil sketch, everything really becomes much easier because you already know where the swan is going to be and you know where you're going to paint all that water. It's two layers. That's the thing. Once I had my background in, it just became more like easy in a way because I like the background already and I knew that a lot of those colors that I chose and I already like, they're gonna reflect onto the feathers. Next thing, I started from painting the face wet on wet. So this is going to be the sketch. This is my sketch. You're welcome to download it and use it. You can trace it. Or the best thing you could do is try to create it on your own because that will help you right away to get familiar with the shape. Like you will start thinking where you want to add more color and shadows and stuff like that. For the brushes, I use Princeton's brushes and there's a flat stroke, three quarters. So it's a flat brush. So you might want to use even a round brush. It's just to wet the background. So I didn't do more than, than just wetting the background with this brush. So you really don't need it. So anything you can wet the background is fine. And then the liner too is just a, a rigor brush. It's a longer thin brush. Chisel Blender 6 is for lifting up the paint. Then we have a long round 8 Aqua Elite. Actually this is the main brush. This was the main brush I used in this painting. So you can use this one or you can even use a softer one like Black Velvet Round 8 by Silver Brush. And then the round 0 Glacier. This is a newer brush for me. I don't really use it this series that much. I prefer Heritage series but this painting was done when I was still testing out Princeton's brushes, different series. And for the watercolor paper, I used Arches Rough Watercolor Paper 300 pounds 12 by 14. So usually when I paint animals I do use a thicker watercolor paper. Now here's all the colors I used for this painting. Please don't worry if you don't have some of the colors. Oprah uh, is one of those colors that sometimes it's harder to get maybe and they're it's definitely more expensive so you can just stick to the quinacridone red it really is uh, not that urgent you don't have to have the Oprah color you can just use quin red and just mix it with a yellow color I used Isoidolina yellow deep but you could use cadmium yellow light this painting so whatever works for you so don't overthink it too much don't worry if you don't have certain colors and obviously not everyone paints with whole white watercolors and that's totally okay. If you like to have a white frame, you can use washi tape. So I use the washi tape to create a white frame but also to hold my paper down. So this is the Flat Stroke 3 quarters Heritage Series brush by Princeton and I am wetting the background. I'm taking my time to wet the background because I need that water to get into the paper deep. Let's use a round brush for example try to use a larger size. This is a long round 8 Aqua Elite series, so it's a pointy long end. And this is where I'm mixing manganese blue nova and viridian hue, and I just added a little bit of, of peach tailored blue, red sheet. Just enough water, so the consistency of your paint is more like a, I don't want to say a heavy cream, it's like a half and half, whatever you put in your coffee. So that's the thing. You want that kind of consistency of half and half. And then this is actually marine blue. And this is the color is on top on my palette. And by the way, this is a plastic palette that I got at Big Blick uh, store. They have a local store uh, here on the west side in Los Angeles. And then there's another one. I think it's Venice Beach. Um, so this is where I go shop for these palettes. And that's the thing, I grabbed the marine blue and I'm going over the same areas. So this is now marine blue mixed with 
indigo. Anyways, I applied the first layer for the water. So again, the first color was uh, a mix of manganese blue, nova, viridian hue, peach, thalo blue, and then the second one was indigo and um, marine blue. So that was my second color. And now I'm just going over and fixing like the lines to make to resemble the look of the water. And now I am wetting the middle section of uh, the body of that swan. So I am wetting it gently before I start adding colors. 